Hello everyone, this is Debbie Giordano. You're watching Valley Homes on TV. We're on channel 26 and we air on Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. for local TV here in Milpitas. And today, uh, along with our perennial uh, co-sponsor guest is Todd Flesner with Stern Mortgage. Yeah, it's great to be here again this afternoon, Debbie. We're, we're talking real estate and We've got a guest this afternoon, uh, Dave Kopp, and we're going to talk about home inspections, a big part of the, the process when you're buying or selling a home. Great. And would you like to introduce Dave a little bit further? I know you've worked together or played Dave, softball together. Or what? Dave and I have known each other for years and years uh, on both the social level and professional level. So Dave is a, is a home inspector, and we're going to find out a bit today about how all that works, what does a home inspector do, what, what's that all about, what goes into home inspection. Great. So uh, Dave is a independent professional who comes out and does that service for folks involved in real estate. State Super. Thank you very much for bringing Dave today. Uh, Dave, mm -hmm. would you like to tell the folks, first of all, we'll, we'll begin and end the segment. I'd like you to let them know where they can contact you, if they have any questions, or gosh, if they need a home inspector. Cool, yeah. Um, my name of my company is a Home Inspection and Report Services, and I can be reached at 650-595-2055. Uh, How about an and email? The email address is uh, Dave Kaufman, that's K-A-U-F-M-A-N-N, -N, at Comcast.net. Perfect. So. Well, let's... Yeah. Let's jump in. Let's here. jump yeah. in. I, I, I have a first question. All right. First question today. What what do you do in your profession? What what is home inspection? Well, basically, you arrive at a house and you're going to go in. I'm going to go in and just check. Uh, basically, the whole point of it is is to assess uh, the condition of the house on that given day, and so and mainly focusing on all the major systems of the house. So that's yeah, that's, that's going to be the roof, the foundation, the heating system, the electrical, and the plumbing, the site drainage conditions and just basically the whole overall system of the house I'm going to look at. So you're a little different than, say, a termite inspection. Mm -hmm. uh, right, but what I do is a general home inspection, and it's a lot different than, than uh, uh, even though they do overlap, structural pest control inspectors and home inspectors, uh, basically I'm like a generalist, like a general practitioner would be for a doctor, you know. I'm going to look for uh, just general conditions that, that need attention, in all of those major house systems and then refer those things out uh, to to a specialist of some type. So who, who would hire you? Buyers? Sellers? Uh, anybody interested in knowing the condition of the home outside I'd say, of that home? I'd say the most, most almost nearly 95% uh, of my inspections are done for both uh, buyers and sellers. Yep. And almost all my business comes from real estate agents and representing either the buyer or the seller. And every now and then I'll get a call from a client that uh, doesn't have an agent. But mm -hmm. most of the time it's, uh, it's just uh, someone from real estate agent either a listing or uh, for the buyer so so, um, so folks might see you crawling out from underneath a home or from the attic do you? Uh, yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so what have you been doing up there what, what is it that goes into your report then for folks what are they right. going to find there well in places like crawl spaces and attics you know there's uh, if they're accessible I go into them and look at basically in an attic I'm going to be looking for uh, just the general structure of the roof to see what condition that's in. Uh, look to see for ventilation because that's really important that an attic have a lot of good cross ventilation and and uh, and look at the insulation. Is it insulated? And then look for all kinds of things that aren't as pleasant, like maybe maybe there's rodent activity. Mm -hmm. You might see some rodent droppings mm -hmm. or something, and you might smell that kind of an odor. So I'm looking for those kinds of things up there. Mm -hmm. And just you know, just basically every situation, every uh, place of the house that I'm going to go to, is just. Uh, Look for look at everything. See if it's done right. See if there's anything unsafe, anything's broken, and anything's installed uh, not quite the way it should be. Mm -hmm. so and yeah, and then and then of course there's upgrade concepts. Is the insulation's there, but it might not be up to the current standard. That's pretty intense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you, so you got to really look at a lot. Yeah. Um, where, where are the sticky points? What, what, what comes out in your report that folks should be looking for? Buyers, sellers, what, what, what type of issues I'd say, typically come up? Well, I mean, almost always there's problems with the main, the main things that happen that we see that that are almost always not quite up to par or like water heater strapping. Like for mm -hmm. seismic restraint reasons, the water heater has to be uh, secured in a manner so that it can't move. Actually, that's in a any state, direction. That's a yeah, state that's a law, state law. For, uh, real estate transfer. But. Yes, 
Yeah, and one of the only things that's actually required that somebody fix and bring up to current code is the water heater strapping. So, you know, that's a real common one. A lot of, there's probably about, you know, three or four issues with water heaters that are always wrong. And so, you know, and most people don't know what they are, so that's right. why it's good that I would come out and see them. Now, and, you know, make note of them. Now, I'm assuming that the things are always changing in terms of standards. I mean, building standards are continually being upgraded and renewed as we go forward. There's and, yeah. a, like electrical issues. I think Constant. older homes that have, you, you own a rental home here that's an older home. That's correct. So those mm -hmm. electrical issues do come up. Right. So you know, how do you um, take care of those sort of issues where maybe you're looking at a property that, that's an older vintage property that was uh, you know, built under one set of codes right. and we have a, a, another set of standards now. How, how yeah. does somebody um, take a look at that and particularly how do you address that in your report? Basically, it's uh, really what's important is, of course, a house, an old house, say a vintage house, is not going to be, it's going to be just that, a vintage house. And, but it's important for us as home inspectors just to let people know that, you know, indeed there have been many upgrades, many, many electrical things have been, uh, have been upgraded and improved. And so we just need to let people know that uh, they do have an older house and that upgrades are always recommended, whether they're required or not. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, must, like you take for instance, uh, the, one of the most common things we see is uh, an old house with, with the old, uh, old knob and tube wiring and mm -hmm. things. You know, that right. wiring can actually be in pretty good condition as long as it's a good condition. It's the kind of the myth is that it's just totally faulty wiring, but it's actually, it can be pretty good because there's there's a lot of space for air to cool off the wires, and once you start putting insulation and things on top of it, then you have a lot of problems. How, uh, how about, Dave, like like plumbing, uh, addressing mm -hmm. uh, many of the homes here have the lead. Yeah, right, lead galvanized steel. It, it, yes. It's, um, and and maybe you test the water pressure in the plumbing yeah. to see if actually, it's delivering the water, correct water pressure right. and, and then make a recommendation. Right. You know what? You know, as a, as a general home inspectors, most of us don't hook up gauges. We don't mm -hmm. do that. But you know, to tell you the truth, the way I check pressure is just turn on all the fixtures and just get a get a get a feel for how mm -hmm. they are. If there's low pressure everywhere, and you also see that you have a galvanized steel pipes, galvanized mm -hmm. steel pl then then you're realizing that you may have some corrosion and you may yeah, the water pressure is probably low. Because because the pipes are corroded just like someone's arteries, you know they just get rusted or yeah, over. Right. Can that be a, a deal breaker between a buyer well, and a seller? I wonder. I don't know. I think that I think that most people once they realize as well, again it's important to disclose that hey you do have older galvanized steel plumbing. I think most people know okay if it's old I've got the old plumbing I'm going to need to upgrade. And mm -hmm. of course if there's cor if there's sometimes the galvanized steel is corroded mm -hmm. and rusted and you just it's just uh, simply needs to be upgraded right away. Okay. Right. So I think as long as people know that it's galvanized steel, mm -hmm. uh, full most disclosure. People, right. Most people, I don't think it's really going to break a deal. I think that, you know, I think that people are just going to go, okay, well, we're going to need to get this. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to upgrade to copper very soon. Right. But the level of your testing that you do by going around and just turning on the faucets and that isn't it, would, would be enough to tell somebody, hey, you know, you might have low pressure in the shower if someone else is in, in a, using water in the other part of the house and be able to alert them so that people mm -hmm. have um, a good idea of what they're buying, and uh, right. yeah, uh, Deb, I, I, I imagine that that you really recommend for your, both your buyers and sellers that they have this process done. Absolutely. Uh, what, mm -hmm. What's the rationale that you use in, in recommending that to people? Well, what we do as I list a home is I get the inspectors out, and then we have a disclosure package that's available to the prospective buyers, so they know the condition of the home, and then those items can be 